how do crazy legs on a bike my name's Jay welcome to the channel so I'm uh, I'm not really sure where I am at the minute but I'm sure it's gonna come out somewhere where I where I recognize I'd um it's absolutely been chucking it down so the roads are really slimy and obviously all shit as well everywhere. I think I've just done a big loop here. Oh I know where I am. Yeah I think so anyway. So good evening. Good morning, good afternoon, depending on where you are in the world. Thank you for joining this channel and thank you for your commitment to the channel, which leads me nicely on to the next bit, which is I've got over a thousand subscribers now. I think there's something like 1,116 or something like that. So I want to thank everybody that stuck with this channel and believed in this channel and gave me a like, thumbs up, thumbs down, comments everything um, and especially subscribing to the channel obviously it's uh, it's the start it's the bottom milestone of YouTube so uh, if you if you do watch this channel and you've not yet subscribed please subscribe it it guarantees the channel to continue um, because obviously you know I've just got to get I've just got to get those numbers up and obviously if you get the numbers up then I get better content as well because obviously you know I can go out I can start reviewing things and uh, manufacturers and suppliers and things like that uh, you know they're gonna they're gonna see that I've got the views and the subscribers and they're gonna want to invest a bit of time in me so I can I can do that best time to come out at night this it's not the best of weathers um, it is threatening rain I mean I know it's sunny up there for now but it's been on and off all day really but uh, on Friday I was actually supposed to go down to the wild bad touring weekender yeah, yeah I'm just gonna go out for the ride and uh, I didn't make it I mean the, the weather was crap anyway but that wasn't the reason the reason was because the weather was crap I am right down to the limit on my front tyre and um, to get down to the departure lounge it's actually I have to go well I have to go down the motorway basically otherwise you know it could take me hours and hours which I don't want to be doing anyway when it's bad weather so I was all planned off got all the cameras ready and everything and I was quite g'd up about it saw the weather and then just did my daily checks, which I have started doing now, of the tyres. Um, I was getting a bit complacent last time, so check your tyres. But uh, but yeah, I was just um, doing a few checks and I, I noticed that the front tyre is actually right down past its limit. And I just thought, you know what, there's no way am I going to chance that. And now, in a straight line on the motorway, it'd probably been fine and it's a road pile at five anyway and this you know they do work well the way the design is and the tread pattern stays right to the very end but um i was just a bit worried because obviously there was a ride around we'll say obviously you don't know that but there was a ride around the derbyshire dales and you've got some really sort of tricky challenging roads and uh i just didn't want to chance it i just didn't want to chance that front end going you know your back end goes if you've got ABS and stuff like that and traction control you know you might you might get away with it you might be lucky but front end you know that's it game over so little message do check your tires so yeah I was a bit gutted about that um, very gutted about that actually because I really wanted to get down there it looked like they had a, a fantastic time so uh yeah anyway i don't know if you can see that cloud in front but that's again 
I seem to always attract the clouds. I always, they're always in the direction that I want to go. But uh, I brought myself a sandwich. Not been out today at all. Um, in fact, I've not, I've not even been on the Kawasaki to be fair. Um, this is the first time I've been out since the weekend. Uh, well, it's now Sunday, so it's still the weekend. But it's, uh, it's early evening, and. Um, you know, it's nice just to get out with no traffic on these back roads. Hence why I'm on the uh, the bullet. But yeah, I was, I was all ready, I was all prepared. And like an idiot, I left it till the last minute. So, on Friday I did actually order another tyre. So I've, I've got um, I've got the same tyre, I've gone, gone for a Road Pilot 5, Michelin Road Pilot 5. Absolutely love them tyres. You know, people have got different opinions on tyres, but I really like them tyres. I feel comfortable with them tyres. No, I can't say I've really tried at length any others, so, you know, I'm not I'm not sure whether others out there would, you know, equally as good or even better, but they'd have to be uh, something special to be able to beat them. The back tyre, it looks like the, the um, front and back tyres were probably changed at different periods unless you can get considerably you know different sort of like wear on the front one because of riding style or bike setup I don't know I'm not sure on that one so if anybody knows let me know in the comments um, so the back one's not not too bad but I always like to change the two tires together now I've not booked it in anywhere to do it I thought I'd just buy the tires and then just um, take the wheels off and take them down to the shop and get them done because that way, you're ins it ensures that obviously you've, um, you know, you're going to get it done. You're going to get the tyre done, and you'll be able to just sit and wait for them both done, then just bang the wheels back on. Where if you take your bike in and say, uh, you know, you've got to either book it in, but if you just turn up, they might say, yeah, we can do it, but we can't do it today. So yeah, it's all been fun and games. A um, couple of issues going off at the minute as well, which I can't go into, but uh, it scuppled my plans for going to the Picos in November as well. So nobody's fault. It's just uh, it's just one of those things. Bad timing, and uh, yeah, it's not been the greatest of times to be fair, but. Uh, you know, we've had all the pandemic and everything and other things going off. I don't want to go into doom and gloom about it, but uh, this mental health thing 
especially over the past year is is serious guys and uh you know it can affect us all and it's made a real difference it has made a real difference to things but uh yeah anyway back on with a bike ride i was going to go down there so i haven't been down there for ages winds car reservoir turbo tony give you a big shout out paul because uh you, you've shouted me out a couple of times i have i have done you as well and uh you know but it just reminded me then going past winds car i know you were down there the other day got some great videos mate i know you've hit a thousand subscribers as well just over so uh bit of a joint party there mate um definitely a joint vlog at some point but yeah turbo tony congratulations paul and uh loving the content mate loving the content so if you've not checked his channel out check his channel out turbo tony he's got the same bike as me well it isn't the same bike it is slightly better than mine it's the ninja the ninja version because it's got that little thing on that says ninja makes it better than mine <laughs> no he's uh he's got the full shebang on his he's got all the um the tft screen and um oh sorry i was just gonna i was just thinking whether to go down there then uh no i won't it's only a nice little short ride out to be fair um yeah he's got the tf ski t screen and the quick shifter and uh cruise control and all that which i've not got so uh yeah check out his channel turbo tony and uh i'm sure you won't be disappointed and another another one as well um rev bomb give rev bomb a look rev bomb is uh he's got some good content and he's uh, very supportive of, uh, of my channel and fasty rides as well very supportive of my channel so uh give them both a check out both similar sort of content to, to what i've got um but yeah that's rev bomb and um fasty rides i haven't done this one for a long time so uh let's get it on here do you know i'm um when i'm on roads like this you know when i keep going off road i keep saying about that front brake and it being linked and stuff and uh i just want to i want to do something at low speed just to test the brakes and just see what would actually happen see if the uh, front brake would actually lock up but uh obviously i can't go in too much of speed can i <laughs> right so i'm just gonna oh i've got my backpack but yeah you know you know i come up here every time and uh it's just stunning, but look over here, look. It's just so peaceful as well. I don't know if you can make them cards out over there, but that's wall dead. So I normally come on from down there, from down there somewhere, and then it goes all the way up, look, all the way up. And that's the road you can see there, somewhere there, where I've just come down. But yeah, it just goes right up. It goes even higher there as well because it goes on to uh that that's not the peak there. It goes higher still. In fact, do you know what I think that is the peak? I thought there was something on it. Anyway. But yeah. Just love it. Just love it round here. In fact, I'm not going to go too far up there because uh, a little 125 and all that and it takes a van just to come past and chuck it in the back, doesn't it? So guys, um, I said that I was just going to do some kind of a ride out as well, but things have been a bit up and down for me at the minute and weather's been up and down and I had my holiday last week and uh, I've not forgot about it. That's why I'm still sort of talking about it, but I will do something, I promise. We'll get some ride outs. Um, I don't think we've seen the last of the sun here. We're only in early August, we're still in, uh, still in summertime, British summertime. But it's just so peaceful. It's the fact that you can just come, you know, I just find these places and you can just have something to eat. 
without disturbance. It's just fantastic. Right, so I'm going to munch on this. I don't think you want to see me doing that. So I'll uh, catch you in a bit. 40 miles an hour. Fifty miles an hour. <laughs> See, it's not slow, is it? Uh... Why not? Said I wasn't going to get wet today, but. <laughs> Oh, we're just having a rest, aren't you, kids? So you don't see things like this in the city, do you? Someone's got really blue eyes. Right guys, I hope you've enjoyed this little vlog. And I say no real agenda, just to uh, say a big thank you to uh, all of the support from you all. So thank you very much guys. And uh, you know, you never know what you see when you come on these back roads. Because every day is an adventure. Take it easy guys, crazy out.